With Election Day just over two weeks away, we are keeping a close eye on Campaign 2010. Our news partners of the Providence Journal continue to put the candidates to the test using the truth o meter Iowa DeSue's reporter Stephen Schuler joins us now from outside the Providence Journal to separate political fact from fiction. PolitiFact is all about exposing what candidates say as truth or fiction. Their statements are assigned a ranking from true all the way to pants on fire. First up, an excerpt from the biography of Republican candidate for governor, John Robitaille. It says Robitaille was the top ROTC officer in the country. We had to go all the way to the Army to get their records. It took a long time and Mr. Robitaille's cooperation, but in the end we found that it was absolutely true. Next, a comment from Frank Caprio, the Democratic candidate for governor. He said Lincoln Chafee settled a union strike by giving the teachers a 19% raise. So this dates back to the 1990s and the Warwick teachers strike, and it turns out that it wasn't a 19% raise, it was more like 24%, and it was over six years, which is a key fact that Mr. Caprio did not mention. We found that to be half true. Finally, the PolitiFact team examined a statement by Mark Zakaria, the Republican running for Congress in Rhode Island's 2nd District. He said James Langevin voted to spend $3 billion for a jet engine no one wants. First of all, the $3 billion was uh, very much overstated for this engine. It is very controversial. A lot of people don't want it. Some people do. But the claim that no one wanted it, uh, 230 congressmen voted for it. So certainly that was not true. We ra rated this claim barely true. Two full-time reporters are assigned to this fact-finding mission. The full statements and rankings are on Projo.com, which you can find through our website, WPRI.com. In Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.